We are on to lesson 6.4 now, and obviously if you can see that there all right, we can see that we are going to talk about the side 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 similarity theorem and the side angle side similarity theorem. So we're going to start with the side 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 similarity theorem. All right now, before I really get started, some of you have been asking, is that new ring going to make a, a appearance in one of these videos? So yeah, there it is. All right, there's the new ring. Let's see if we can zoom in on it a little bit. All right, so for those of you who go to school here, <clears throat> football championship ring, all right, Coach Oates, it's got our uh, Cougars, number one in the state, pretty, pretty cool thing. It does make it a little bit hard to write with it so big, so it's not going to show up very often. All right, if you don't go to High Point Christian, you want to come play for a, a football team, feel free. A little shameless commercial there. So, all right, but let's get back to geometry now. All right, so side, side, side similarity theorem. It's pretty simple, it's a kind of self-explanatory. We gotta have to have all three sets of sides. Now remember, with similarity, our sides don't need to be congruent, okay? Think back to what we first learned about similar shapes. Angles are congruent, sides are, what was that word there, do you guys remember? <clears throat> sides are proportional. So that's what we're gonna be talking about with this. So, if all three sets of sides are proportional. Okay, another way to say that is they reduce to the same ratio. Or you could say they have the same scale factor. Okay, any of those ideas, they all mean the same thing. Okay, if all three sets of sides are proportional, okay, then the triangles are similar. All right, so pretty simple. Okay, so all we're gonna have to do is set up some proportions and then there's two ways we can go about doing things. We can reduce or we can do the cross multiplying. So let me give you kind of a real quick example of that, but in our second video, we're gonna do more examples with numbers and the cross multiplying and things like that. So in this video, we're just gonna talk about the theorem, show you kind of one picture of what it looks like. We're gonna talk about the other theorem, side angle side, show you one picture of that, and we'll be done with our first video. In the second video, we're gonna do more of the actual examples and the work. All right, so I've got two triangles here, all right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, to apply the side, side, side similarity theorem, I'm gonna go ahead and write this out. So if, all right, AB over, now, what would AB have to be over? Well, I tried to draw them so they look basically the same, so, you, so we're gonna go with PQ equals BC over, well, BC would have to be over QR, which equals, remember, you need all three sets of sides, so I did AB, I did BC, now I need to do AC over PR. Okay, so if all three sets of sides are proportional, right? if these reduce to the same scale factor, the same ratio, then the triangles, so triangle ABC, remember the triangles are similar. That's our sign for similar. Now if I said ABC, what would have to be the correct order on the other one? Triangle PQR. All right, so that's what the side, side, side similarity theorem is talking about. So, like I said, we're in the second video, we're going to do much more kind of specific examples with numbers and things like that. So, make sure you watch that video as well. But that's just what the side, side, side similarity theorem is saying. So, let's take a look at the other one side angle side similarity theorem. All right, now, once again, it's not too hard to figure out. We have to have two sides. We have to have one angle, all right? So let's take a look at this. So if two sets of sides are proportional and the, now we have gotta think about this. Which angle is it? Do you guys remember when we had side angle side here and that angle was stuck between the sides? What did we call that? We called that the included angle. Included angle is what? Are the angles supposed to be proportional? I don't think back to what we first learned about similar triangles. Sides are proportional, angles are congruent. Okay, we want congruent angles. 
So if two sets of sides are proportional and the included angle is congruent, then the triangles are similar. All right, so let's take a look at an example of that as well. And then, like I said, we'll do more specific examples when we go into the second video. So I have this drawn out. Actually, I already have the angle marked. It's going to help me figure out which sides I'm dealing with. So we, remember, we got to deal with the included angle. So if I'm talking included angle, I have to have the sides right around it. I can't have this side and this side. That would be a side-side angle order. Okay, we don't want that. We want side angle side. So JL. So if JL over, now what does JL have to be over on this triangle? It's got to be over MO equals, okay, the other side, JK over MN. Now you notice we don't put marks on these because this is not congruent to that. It's proportional. We don't really have a mark for that, okay? Um, JL, MO, JK, MN, and we need the included angle to be congruent, so angle J is congruent to angle M, then, I got my then kind of in the wrong spot here, but we'll keep going, then, what do we say? The triangles are similar, so let's name the first one, triangle JKL is similar to, remember our symbol for similar, so if I went JKL, I need to do MNO triangle M N O. Right? So that's kind of how that one works. Let me zoom out a tiny bit so I can fit all of that into the picture at the same time. All right? So I got two sets of proportional sides. I got one angle that's congruent, but it has to be in the order of side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Okay? Then the triangles are similar. Now, real quick, before we finish this video, I want to talk about a couple things where some people might get a little confused, but um, let me zoom the wrong way here. Okay, so if you think back to the, the congruent triangles, okay, we had side, 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 angle, side, we had angle, side, angle, 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 side, and we had HL. You guys remember all that? Now, with similar triangles, we only have three. Remember we started with AA, I'm gonna put that over here, I'm gonna put it over there for a reason. And today we learned side, 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 and side, angle, side. So I want, to see, I want you to see how these match up. So here we had side, 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 we got side, side, side. Side, angle, side, we got side, angle, side. Over here they were postulates. However, over here they're theorems. Okay, so you gotta keep that straight. Angle, angle, look, angle, angle. I got two angles, so I don't even need the side when I come over here. Two angles is enough. Angle, angle. I don't need the side when I come over here. Two angles is enough. Well, what about HL? Okay, we don't have an HL over here. One of the reasons we don't have an HL, when we're talking similar shapes, we're usually given actual numbers so we can do the reducing or the cross multiplying. So if I actually know the hypotenuse in the leg, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem, we'll find the missing side. We'll do that on both triangles. Once I know the missing side, then I can do side, side, side. I have all three sides then. So could we actually have an HL here? We could. We, are, we don't really need to because we can use the Pythagorean theorem and side, side, side. It just takes a little longer, right? Now, if you think back to ones we didn't use, side, side, angle, and angle, 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 okay? Side, side, angle, we still don't have a side, side, angle over here. It still doesn't work. The same reason, if you remember why I, I showed you this earlier in the year, we actually have two different kinds of triangles that we can form with side, side, angle. Now keep in mind, if the angle is a right angle, we call it HL. Angle, angle, angle didn't work. And one of the reasons I told you way back then that it didn't work was because that only proved the triangles were similar. And here it is, angle, angle. I don't need all three angles, two angles is enough. Okay, so these didn't work. Side, side, angle is still not gonna work here. And we don't need angle, 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 because two angles is enough, okay? So if you kind of see the relationship here, right? side, side, side matches up, side, angle, side matches up, angle, angle covers both of these. HL we don't have, but HL plus the Pythagorean theorem would give me side, 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 all right? So that's kind of how they match up from congruent triangles to similar triangles. We only have three of them that we have to know here. 
kind of makes it a little bit easier. All right, that's the end of this first video. Um, make sure you watch the second video as well. Make sure you take good notes. Some of you are coming into class without very good notes. You need to take good notes. Write things down. Pause the video if necessary. All right? Okay, make sure you watch the second video, and we'll be ready for 6.4 in class.